Hey, if you've ever tried to paint out of a paint bucket, a one gallon can to cut in, touch up, things like that, you might know how frustrating it is trying to hold it. It's very uncomfortable. I'm gonna show you a trick right after this that's gonna solve that. Hey, welcome back to that Kilta Guy videos here on YouTube. We teach you guys how to do your own home improvement projects, teach you how to do it right, and to save money. When you get done watching this short little video, be sure and check out our description down below for a lot of good information down there that'll help you out too. We got a website, we got an Amazon store, we got free guides and so on. So check that out. And if you like our videos and you like to do these things yourself and save some money and do it right, be sure and subscribe. We're going to put out a lot of videos. We already have 50, 60 videos out. We're going to, as of this point, we're going to put out tons more. My plan is to do this full time. We are growing rapidly and we're going to try and put out two to three videos a week. So a lot of good tips and tricks. Now in today's video, I'm going to talk about this little subject here. It's going to be a four minute video. This is our four minute quick tip video on Wednesdays. We're going to try and put them out. So I'm going to start the timer now and hopefully I stay under four minutes. I normally start one over here so I can see, but I don't have that going today. So we're just gonna hope. This one's pretty simple, so I think we can do it. You know, when you're trying to do cut in on your paint, you're trying to cut in the corners around the trim or your painting trim or whatever, and you wanna work out of a little container, you don't have a whole lot of choices. You can go buy one of them little red cup things and I think I tried one of them once. I wasn't real thrilled with it. For one, they don't really hold that much paint and all. I started out doing drywall in my life. I was doing this when I was eight years old with my dad walking on stilts. And over time, I got into doing some more and more painting. Customers would ask me. And I'd go cutting in with one of these cans. Well, if you try and hold it like this, you know, you can't hardly get your paintbrush in there. So that's a pain. So. I'd try and hold it, you know, like maybe like this or grab it like this. I couldn't really find a comfortable way. This thing cuts into you. So I didn't like that. So I thought, well, maybe maybe get like a bucket like this and, and hold it. But it kind of presents some of the same problems. It's just not real comfortable to hold on to. And I didn't want to buy one of them little things. So here's what I came up with. And for me, it works great. This is a... What size is this? I think this is a little two gallon bucket. You can do this with a smaller one gallon bucket. I've got several of them set up this way. I just happen to have this one going for a cut in bucket. So what you do is you take your normal bell handle and you go buy you some PVC pipe. You just need a piece of it. Just find a fitting or whatever works that your thumb will go through. So you take, if it's a pipe, you cut that you tape it to the handle with some duct tape. Now your thumb goes through there. Now watch this. You roll your hand around there and it forms a perfect handle and it's very comfortable. You can paint like this, hanging onto this thing for hours and it just, if this isn't too tight, it's secure, it works great. Now I make sure and use good strong duct tape. You wouldn't want that to tear right at the last minute. This is actually Gorilla Tape because I wanted to make sure it stays on there, but it's really as simple as that. And like I say, I've tried this on several different buckets, so that's today's quick, quick tech tip. Don't leave quite yet. You see these videos popping up? There's some other related videos if you care to watch them. If not, be sure and give us a thumbs up if you like this and subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Take care, everybody.